hello guys welcome back to s learning so guys we are starting with new video series in which we will share the uh, like interview questions which are mostly asked in like mnc's and these are real time interview questions so if you also want to share your latest interview questions then, then you can mail us the mail id is provided in description link and this will also help you to prepare for your next interview uh, with mnc's or any company so let's start so in our first video we will cover one of our subscriber has shared uh, his interview experience the questions which were asked to him based on the java spring boot hibernate and jpa so this position was for java developer experience required was around four to uh, three to four years and salary offered where is a 10 to 12 lpa so let's start first question which was asked to him is that difference between set and list so this is some basic question asked in like uh, for in the java round so this was the first question difference between set and list so you can uh, easily tell set allows uh, like say don't allow duplicate and list allow duplicate and other differences as well now second question was if we have frequently insert and delete operations so which collection should be preferred so obviously if you have insert delete operations uh, so then we should prefer link list instead of array list so this was the like scenario based question now third question was difference between tree set and hash set so you can tell tree set maintains the order and tree set uh, contains uh, like a red black binary tree as a data structure but hash set contains hash table as data structure and hash set uh, doesn't maintain the insertion order and you can also check more differences in like any tutorial now fourth question which was asked is that this was like a programmatical question so not coding question but a snippet type of question so in that he has been asked that if we don't override hash code method then what will be the output of this two statement so just read it to the internal working of hash set and also read like uh, if we don't uh, override hash code method so how hash set will work in that case so i am guessing that it will add abc both the times if we don't override hash code so you can read in more details on internet now next question was difference between hibernate and jpa so this was the basic question like you can tell hibernate uh, is one of the implementation of jpa and some differences between in that like J jpa supports jpql and hibernate supports hql so they have uh, like two two more two two three more differences now next question is life cycle of object entity in jpa so this was uh, like uh, generally they don't ask they only ask the life cycle of object in like uh, in hibernate but uh, you should also go through this J in jp so you might face this question in your next interview now next question is where should we implement methods of jpa repository so answer to this question is simple like uh, whenever we declare interface with at the rate repository so we should declare or use that method implementation in that interface and also if you want uh, or if you want to share your answer so you can also comment on your answer so it will be helpful for other also now moving on to moving on to next question so it was what is difference between first level cache and second level cache so first level cache is uh, reside at session level second level cache is reside at session factory level and we have uh, by default configured first level cache but we don't have configured uh, inbuilt configured second level cache so we can configure it by using some property so you can check the difference between that and it is one of the most asked hibernate questions so you should uh, prepare this now next question is types of in inheritance strategy in hibernate so there are i think three strategies so just read it about once and yeah next question is can we interchange can we interchange at direct service and repository annotation so yes you can interchange because underlying they only are the part of at direct component and annotation so you can interchange but it is not a best practice you should follow the uh, like a uh, practice 
by declaring at the service at the business level class and repository at the class in which you are handling database call now next question is use of direct qualifier in spring or spring boot so this is uh, one of the most asked question and this uh, qualifier gets used in the case when we want to like i think implement uh, provide the implementation of uh, interface like to implement more than one implement more than one implementation of interface so in that case we can use this direct qualifier to give a proper name now next question is difference between web service and web application so just read about this i don't think there might be like more than two to three differences but uh, just go through it once another question is how can we integrate database in spring boot so this was a easy question like uh, we can first step is to add the dependency of whatever database we are using in pom.xml then we have to use a uh, spring data source to declare the jdbc use, uh, sorry uh, database username username password url and driver name so in that properties file we can declare those and in the repository we can use that uh, username details driver to connect to database and also to use this property in the uh, pojo class then we can use add direct value annotation so this is how you can answer this question next is uh, this is uh, like uh, uh, we have one interface and one class which is implementing that interface okay so in that case whose reference will be created at the time of auto wiring so this need to be like uh, make sure just google it because uh, the answer which he has provided our subscriber he, he was also not sure so just google this question at at i think it is little bit confusing so just mention the answer if you get any and just mention in the comment if you get any answer uh one more question on spring boot was types of auto wiring auto wiring like how can we auto wire in which way we can auto wire in spring boot so i think there are multiple types by name by type auto detect default is no so you can go through that once and last method uh, last question was was it, what is the finder method in jpa so like just google it to find about finder method because uh, we have find find by all find all find by username such like methods in jpa but uh, just uh, check once about the finder method so these were the questions which were asked to him in accenture interview so if you also want to share your experience then you can mention in the comment and you can also provide us the question on the mention email id in the description